<laughs> Hello Spartans, I'm Lila Elliott. And I'm Nate Cobb. Welcome to Channel 101 News for Thursday, April 17th. And today is National High Five Day. Today, GSA will be hosting a rainbow flag marker tattoo parlor before school and at lunches. Stop by to get marker tattooed by a GSA member. Today, during second block and at both lunches, you can also enter a 50-50 raffle. You must answer an LGBTQ themed trivia question and make a 50 cent donation. Proceeds will be split between the raffle winner and the Kalamazoo Gay and Lesbian Resource Center. The raffle winner will be announced this afternoon. Good luck! Tonight at 7 p.m. there will be an informational meeting for the 2015 Band and Orchestra Disney trip in the black box. Please make sure you attend the meeting if you are interested in attending the trip. And now, here's your Throwback Thursday quiz. Thanks, Carly and Sydney. Be sure to tweet your answers to Channel 101 News for the chance to win a free slushie. And the French Club will be meeting after school today to discuss the bake sale. The meeting will take about 30 minutes and will begin at 3 p.m. in room A106. The Varsity Girls soccer team improved their record to 2-0 last night with a commanding 4-0 win over Coldwater. Goals were scored by Bree Green, Ava Cook, Mackenzie Wilcox, and Marty Floyd. Assists were recorded by Marty, Mackenzie, Margarita, Carrillo, and... Rachel Perel. The junior varsity soccer team also picked up their first win with a 3-2 victory over Coldwater. They fought back from being down 2-0. The second annual Spartan Palooza will be held on Friday, April 25th in the high school black box. Doors open at 7 p.m. The event will feature four LHS student musical acts. All proceeds from the event will go to benefit the Haven of Rest. Tickets are $3 in advance and $5 at the door. Tickets will be on sale during both lunches all next week. Come out to support LHS and the Haven of Rest. Congratulations to the varsity softball team who split a doubleheader with Harper Creek last night. The girls won the first game 14-7 and lost the second game 7-14. Kayla Calloway was the winning pitcher and Bree Ashley and Katie Reimer and Paige Tobin had multiple key hits in RBIs. All DECA members attending nationals need to pick up and turn in completed medical forms today if you wish to, t to attend nationals. You should pay for the trip by check or money order as soon as possible. Cheerleading tryouts for the fall of 2014-15 school year will be Tuesday, May 6th through Friday, May 9th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. in the high school wrestling room. If you want to try out for the team, see Ms. Jones in the main office or get a flyer to sign up. The senior class will have a meeting on Wednesday, April 23rd in the Black Box at 10.35 a.m. At this meeting, you will receive your senior magazine questionnaires. Those questionnaires will be due back to the Crystal staff no later than Thursday, May 1st. See Ms. Darland or Allison Toby with questions. All clubs and organizations will have their group photos for the yearbook taken on April 24th and Friday, April 25th. Please make arrangements with your advisor and club members to attend your photo session. Times will be posted by the end of the week. If you are planning on being part of either Win Ensemble or Symphonic Band in the fall, please make sure that you come to the band room and sign up for an audition time. Auditions begin next week. Happy practicing! There will be a mandatory meeting for all students who are attending Kellogg Career Day on April 26th. This meeting will take place on Wednesday, April 23rd in Ms. Mueller's room, A213, at 7.30 a.m. Please plan to attend this brief informational meeting. The senior trip this year to Cedar Point will be on June 2nd. The cost is $125, which includes all drinks and food, as well as your transportation and ticket to the park. If you did not get an email with the forms, please see Mrs. Goodman on the second floor for details. <laughs> Approximately 20 million people across the United States celebrated the first Earth Day on April 22, 1970. Today, more than 1 billion people around the world take part in the event. Earth Day is this, com is this upcoming Tuesday, April 22. A way to do your part is to recycle. Every ton of paper that is recycled saves 17 trees, 2 barrels of oil, 4,100 kilowatts of energy, 
3.2 cubic yards of landfill space, and 60 pounds of air pollution. The energy we save when we recycle one glass bottle is enough to light a traditional light bulb for four hours. So please encourage recycling glass, plastic, and paper products in your household. Also, the U.S. is 5% of the world's population but uses 25% of its natural resources. We use 1 million gallons of oil every two minutes. Whenever possible, try to carpool, ride a bike, or walk in order to conserve oil. These small acts by individuals add up and make a huge difference. The 2014 spring letter and summer schedule is ready for all girls interested in playing basketball next year. And summer camp is right around the corner. Please stop by Mr. Bustler's room A203 to pick up your letter and schedule. Any manufacturing or applied tech students from first semester that would like to compete in MITE's competition, please bring your project or projects into Mr. O'Connor or Mr. Byrne by Wednesday, April 23rd. <laughs> With Channel 101, I'm Nate. And I'm Lila. Have a great day off tomorrow and happy Easter. See you Monday.